of course, we have messages coming through on the number 0770-729-366, but we will read them in a bit. For now, let's see what's happening on Ask the Girls. Mm -hmm. Hello, I hope you're well. I need assistance with a thought that has been disturbing me, and I was very sorry. I was very bright. Like, eh, in high school, mm. I used to get really good grades. But of late, I feel dumb. Numb. Like, I, no, I feel numb. Sorry. Sorry. Just like <laughs> grades dumb was next. Mm. I feel numb. I can't even have a normal conversation and understanding things is a problem. It's like black magic has been done to me. What do I do? Let me tell you, sometimes Turi and I will just be chilling, <laughs> having a random conversation. And then the words, <laughs> they fly. Hmm? Dyslexia kicks in. Let me tell you, mal dis <laughs> dis did I just say dyslexia? Exactly. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> mal dyslexia, but that's besides the point. And I remember as a kid, I used to listen to my mom and she'd say, I mean, she'd like use the wrong uh, pronoun. She would use the wrong, uh, what do you call them? Adjective here and there. Like she, mm. instead of him and her she'd say his you know like those kinds of things would happen a lot and in my mind i just look at her like kai how are you so i mean like you think it's daftness but it's not the older you grow you're no longer reading books like set books all the time people used to read a lot how mm. much did you read in school Uh, in place of your filler words, mm. it happens. However, if it's a situation where you're actually feeling, um, like, I don't know, it, like it's stressing you to the point where you, you actually can't. And, and this happens to me a lot, especially if I go to a point where I speak a lot of Kiswahili, I will forget how to speak English. Mm. If I speak a lot of English, I'll forget how to speak Kiswahili. It happens. It happens. So if, if it's feeling more like a, a disability, like, um, like a mental struggle and you mm. feel like maybe you need um to see someone about it you can speak to a speech speech patho pathologist they're mm. called speech pathologists try and get in contact with a speech pathologist they should be able to help you like figure out what your words are and help you like get back to your regular flow mm. but honestly if it's just mixing up words here and there babe the thing with school it provided structure it did there was a lot of structure in your life yeah. high school and then you leave high school and there's no structure there you is have none. to do things on your own mm -hmm. you get into uni and you have to tell yourself to ah, go to your class low. to have you know there, there's some form of discipline that is needed yeah. from you so sometimes you have a foggy brain you know things are not the way you know, the math is not mathing mm. i'm like two years ago this used to make sense to me. Right now, it makes zero sense. But also, what types of food are you eating? Because I realize sometimes oh, the, food we eat, yeah. the food we eat really contributes to how we think, how we function, how our energy levels. So sometimes you're always tired. You're always foggy brain. There's even a time I was like, this has to be witchcraft. Because I can't explain how I am so tired. I can barely think. I can barely make sense of anything. And then... Uh, after going to a doctor, um, he, he asked, what are you eating? I'm like, girl, Dana, you know how you have crepes and juice and go to bed. And your body, your body cannot sustain that. Yeah. You know, your body needs very 
It needs you know, nutrition. Yeah, we used to get on yeah. high school food, mm. but that food was nutritious. That food used to Vegetables, do the work. You know? proteins, and carbohydrates. Yeah. So meal. look into what you're doing. Are you exercising? Because if you've been lazy and just chilling the whole time, and then you're wondering, why can I not think? And you've just been binging on three cities. Uh, three seasons of one series, back to back, back to back. Of course, you're going to feel foggy. No one is bewitching you, my friend. <laughs> no one is bewitching you. So watch what you eat. Move around. Exercise. Do um, mental exercise. Yeah, also. give your brain uh, Get task. an app, mm. you know, to g games that just stimulate your brain or something. Yeah, I have one yeah. you can try. It's called Elevate. Mm -hmm. Just Elevate, just mm -hmm. as it is. Download it. It helps with like keeping up with your. Yeah. It helps with pronunciations, spellings, and whatever. True. Let's yeah. not be quick to blame our relatives. Oh my God! Witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Is it black magic? No babes. Every time I hear no witchcraft, babes. I remember that black chicken story. <laughs> In the ghetto. Ooh. I see your messages coming in. We have Tamara tuned in saying, hey ladies, it's Tamara. Hi, Tam Tam. Enjoying the show. Kathami, as always, is glowing. Oh, Turi you. is shining brighter. Uh, mob love. Thank you very much. We have Wambo from Westy tuned in saying, hey ladies, looking good as usual. Tuned in, as always, with my husband and our four-month-old daughter. Oh, 6 p.m. So is her cute. favorite time of the day. She loves the tea. Oh, your daughter are so messy. So cute. Can you just appreciate the dynamic? Ah, the husband, husband the, the wife, and, and the child. children. As in, love that. We will try not to cast <laughs> on the show. We also have somebody else tuned in saying, um, Hortensia. oh, Hortensia. Hey Good evening, ladies. Love the vibe. Tuned in from Capeta, enjoying the show. Yesterday's game was epic. Wait for today's game. You'll see fire. And